This is Spoken Gospel. We're dedicated to seeing Jesus in all of Scripture. In each episode, we see what's happening in a biblical text and how it sheds light on Jesus and His Gospel. Let's jump in. So far in Leviticus, we have seen descriptions of the sacrifices. These sacrifices needed priests to carry them out. But last we saw from Aaron, the head priest in the book of Exodus, he was begging for his life after building Israel an idol in the shape of a golden calf. Here, we see that God has provided a way for Aaron and his sons to be forgiven of this terrible sin and serve inside his tabernacle as priests. Aaron and his sons are ordained as priests after following all the commands God gave back in Exodus chapter 29. Then they carry out the sacrifices Leviticus has commanded so far. The result of this obedience is tremendous. God revealed his glory and sent fire to consume the burnt offering. But then, only one verse later, fire comes out from God again, but this time, it is not the fire of acceptance, but the fire of judgment. That's because Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, disobeyed God's commands. They brought a different fire into God's presence than the one he lit. So God's fire consumes them. God showed his glory to the people when he consumed the sacrifice. Here, God shows his holiness to the people by sending his fire of judgment. After this incident, God says, Among those who are near me, I will be sanctified, and before all the people I will be glorified. God will show those who come near him that he is holy and set apart. And whether in worship or in judgment, God's glory will be displayed to all. So how can we come near God without being consumed? Jesus is our answer. Jesus is the final high priest who perfectly obeyed every command of God. Therefore, he did not have to go through a process of ordination where blood was spilled to pay for his sins. And since he shed his own blood for us, we can approach God with boldness, not because of our goodness or accomplishments, but because we know that Jesus perfectly represents us before God. The fire we deserve to have consume us was fully extinguished upon Christ body on the cross. And like the fire on the altar showed God's acceptance of Israel's sacrifice, so the fire of the Holy Spirit that indwells believers today shows that we have been made into acceptable living sacrifices to God. Our ability to draw near to God is not based on how well we follow rules. The reason we are not consumed by God's holiness is because His holiness has come to live in us. He makes us fully acceptable so that we can be a kingdom of priests that never perish. I pray that the Holy Spirit will give you eyes to see the God of perfect holiness and tremendous glory, and that you would see that Jesus is the only way we can enter into God's holy presence and behold His glory with joyful worship.